Hello and happy 2022. This will be another interesting year. And uh, my little video is about what's coming up and how can we react to it in the best manner possible. Well, my guiding ones told me already in uh, 1999 when I first came to Sedona, which is, by the way, the background here, that um, we are starting a 10 year cycle of full moon like energy in 2020. And that will obviously start till about, you know, end about 2030 when we, there's a major shift in our reality. But till then, we are going through several phases. One of this uh, phase has started where we look at our underdressed fears and emotions that started in 2020. And we have seen how much movement uh, that gotten us into to look deep within, into our emotions, fears were triggered, and then all the pandemic scenarios, more fear was triggered, more emotions came to the surface. And then they said in 1999 that there will come a time where People will live on the same planet, but they will actually live in two totally different realities. And I think that's what we reach now. Some people feel inclined to think very right, and some people are inclined to think very left, and there's not much in the middle. And I told me this morning that this tendency will continue, that there is a drifting apart of reality and this reality strands are going to be very very thin and then clink it will disrupt and uh, there will be a rupture and some people will live in happiness and some people will live in total drama so it's not about the political thing about ref left and right it's more about also how we feel about life some people will in absolute angst and fear, and some people will in bliss and reinventing themselves and rebirthing themselves. So um, how do we get from the drama zone to the bliss zone? When the whole world crackles around us like in fires, because there will be more weather shifts, more weather changes, fires, winds, all the weather changes we have seen will be multiplied, floods. So I agree here with uh, Nostradamus who predicted these extreme weather patterns going to be um, multiplying in 2022, plus uh, a meteorite would strike Earth and would halt the marching armies, two marching armies in its steps. Well, if we look at the Ukraine and what's happening there on the border with Ukraine and what's happening with uh, China's preparation, I think uh, we could say that these boots are marching uh, soldiers. But like NASA developed a rocket program to move asteroids, we do not necessarily have to get hit by what is a possibility. So that's in our personal life as well. As NASA built these rockets to divert possible asteroids hitting Earth, we have a, going to have a close call here in January 18th. We can also in our personal life create rockets to boost us and our life in the right direction. And this biggest rocket is attitude shift meaning instead of having a negative attitude for, for, um, full of fear, that which makes us shrink, which makes us you know, tight and no energy can go through, we could adapt a positive outlook and looking consciously at every single thing in our life, which is going well or going positive, whether just taking a walk in beautiful skies, having enough to eat and not being part of the victims who lost everything in a flood or in a fire or in a tornado. I mean, we have life to be grateful for. It's throwing us some curveballs, but this year is also a mastership year of emotions. 
So this year is kind of sort of a break it or make it year because the soul puts artificial difficulties on the path to overcome a master in the sense of emotions. For people, it will be like we are all going to be empaths. We're all going to feel each other's feelings, feel each other's emotions, and that can be super intense. And for such people who are already empaths, it will be, you know, almost unbearable if they are not protected with their own shielding. For that purpose, I actually created this fast track to your psychic abilities program, uh, part one. And um, one started today, January 1st, but there will be most likely two more to come throughout this year to learn how to shield themselves from these tremendous turmoil emotions which are wandering and are blown around the planet because we will be triggered however i asked my guiding ones what can i tell my clients or viewers to look at things in a different perspective and they showed me a symbol of a trampoline and they showed me uh animals on it and children on it and it told me to have a childlike attitude towards life children are not so concerned about everything because they have their parents right and they are just in the moment where well, we have to see a little bit god's source or the universe as a parent to us who will deliver to us what we need if we need it i for example saw in colorado where the latest fire hit in Boulder, uh, such an outpouring of wonderful support for people. Yes, there were also discussions about the C word, who was vaccinated and who wasn't vaccinated, who could stay with whom. And I found that a little bit intense as well, that in an emergencies, this differentiations would even matter. But oh well, for some people it matters. However, the wonderful outpour of help in catastrophes where neighborly love, neighborly love gets reestablished is really something wonderful to see, feel, and watch. And that's going to be needed to make it well through 2022. But uh, further, my guiding ones showed me also these inner images of dogs and cats and kids jumping and bouncing on these rebounders and trampolines. So that made me look at a video where I think it was laugh to me, where somebody had filmed various dogs and cats and uh, so on bounce around. And what I find interesting is that each dog or cat has its own way to deal with a trampoline. And let's call it the trampoline of life. Some dogs were running around in circles, almost like chasing their own tail. Others were pouncing always in the middle like a cat, even though they were a dog, focusing on one particular spot over and over and over and over and over. Other people were just luxuriously, you know, rubbing themselves on the trampoline mat. And others were just jumping and frolicking um, up and down and up and down. So every one of these animals had a different kind of use for the trampoline and how they were going about using it. And my guiding one said, well, it's not the best symbol, but that is life. See that the trampoline mat or flooring and the netting around is like the love matrix in the universe. And you are bouncing around in it, however you want and however you do. Yeah, certain things are destined in this bouncy castle of life, but other things we can put our own direction in. You can do a somersault, or you can dive head first, or you can just let yourself being falling securely backwards and being sure that the universe, God's source, the prime creator love, which holds everything together, you know, carries you. And that's what children do. If you ever look at children bouncing around, they're not concerned about having a scraped knee. They're not concerned about um, do I, you know, splinter an elbow and something or whatever it is possible to have an, an injury on the trampoline or rebounder. They are just 
having the utmost fun. And my guiding ones were saying that that should be our attitude in everyday life, to have the utmost fun by bouncing around in this world. And sometimes you cannot control, you lift off, but you're not sure exactly how you're landing after you lift it off to do something or to bounce or to start a new adventure or to get a new job or such things. There's a lot of new energies coming into this year 2022. And some people will renew their ideas, which they started on the first uh, year under the C word. I don't want to spell it because I don't want to be censored here. So you all know what I mean. And some of the people were finding it very refreshing to have time off or time, a time out of the regular red race of life to reinvent themselves. And for some people that will continue, this reinventing themselves. And for other people, it will be more drama. And for other people, it will be more demanding. And for other people, it will be more blame shame game. However you go through this year of 2022, it's definitely up to you. But remember that you are a co-creator and whatever you're seeing, sensing, feeling, experiencing in this year is experienced through your personal filters. And that's where you might look whether your filters are adequate uh, to see things in a little bit better and positive light rather than in negative light. Um, at the year end, I'm always getting a lot of requests about you know, donating money here and there and everywhere, also overseas and in Africa and, and, and overall in the world. And of course, I'm concerned about kids being hungry or people having uh, nothing to eat or nothing to uh, close themselves with after, for example, the latest fire I sent some packages out right away as well. But we cannot uplift everyone. A few cannot uplift everyone. That means everybody has to take responsibility for their own reality. When you're tempted to do the blame shame game, let's say you didn't do this, guess what? Several fingers look back at you. That means we have to look at what our causes are in the effect what we are seeing around us. So self-responsibility will be a big thing in this year because that's where we're ending in 2023 in our big shift year. Where do you wanna shift into? My recommendation further would be thinking long-term more now than ever. Yes, to be in the moment like Eckhart Tolle says is great. Enjoying the moment, being in the moment, but once in a while, I would recommend to step a little bit aside from this world, mentally watch it and saying, where do I want to be in a year or five years? Where do I want to, how do I want to feel in one year and five years? And what can create this fear? There are so many variations what people want and feel like. I cannot mention them all, but one thing which always comes to mind when I'm thinking about the upcoming years is self-sustainability. Self-sustainability um, is definitely an important factor when the weather changes are so erratic or when our supply chain chains are disrupted. It's good to have what you need in front of your own door or in your own backyard. So think about having some more edible plants added to your garden or yard if you have any, or to your balconies or even indoor. Just try yourself out in some gardening, indoor gardening, horizontal or vertical gardening. There are so many options these days which make really sense to try out. And it's good for you. You know that it's organic. You know that's nothing sprayed on. You know that's not necessarily altered in any shape or form if you look at the seeds and what you're getting. 
and it trains you for future references that you do not feel so hopeless. Doing something yourself about your situation makes you more positive. Yeah, if you feel the victim of this year, oh, the weather, oh, this army or that army, oh, this circumstance or that circumstance, I'm so helpless, I cannot do anything. Then I just don't quite believe that because there's always a tiny little bit we can do. And even if it's just having trust and faith, in that which is underlying the whole universe and that's this grid of love on which everything bounces around and makes its experiences. So understand that you, no matter what horrible things have happened to you lately or going to happen possibly in 2022, that we create our own rocket fuel to divert further catastrophes by fueling our positive mood with positive thoughts. And that needs to be cultivated, trained. It's not easy when we have a habit of having certain filters, for example, the blame shame filters, it's the government's fault, it's the right wing's fault, it's the left wing's fault, it's their whatever's fault, it's their universe's fault, it's God's fault, it's, you know, why, why, why? then I want to pause and think, what did I contribute? Is there anything I contributed to the circumstances? Where did I not listen to my inner voice? Where did I not listen to my inner guiding ones who pressured me like, go there, do this, or don't do this, you know, going, pushing me back, though. don't go there, don't do this, don't. You know, um, that's something to look towards. In general, remember mastership year, mastership years, training through mastering of emotions is never easy. And it's also the double of the 11, which is finding out who one is, reinventing oneself. And this is a reinventing oneself in regard of the emotional side of life. How can I reinvent myself in the emotional side of life? And it's good when you think about the etheric world, the spirit world, God source, to bring that consciously back into our life where we have not looked at it for a while, possibly. I'm not saying that everybody has to be an apt meditator, even though meditation really helps to uplift the mood. When you feel connected to the divine design, when you feel connected to God source, when you feel connected in uh, any which way, also to all there is and nature and so on. Nature is very supportive to our human species and we are ravaging nature in a uh, unforgivable way, but still nature tries to support our species here on this planet as much as possible. So take this year with a grain of salt. It can be glorious for many. It can be very devastating for others. And try to switch sides if it's the side which causes you trauma or drama. Certain things, sometimes we cannot circumvent. For example, my house got flooded at one time right between Christmas and New Year's. And I had to leave everything and just take my two dogs and uh, find shelter in a friend's house. So I know how it is to leave everything behind and being in a cold room without heat and uh, having to buy new clothes because we didn't have anything. Um, it can be a humbling experience and you realize what you really need. You don't need too many things. So, Bring it back to basis. Also with your emotions, bring certain things back to basis and feel yourself and what makes you feel a certain way. Sense what's going on. Take the time to pause and sense into yourself. And for that, guided meditations or meditations are a good way. I can only offer to tune into uh, the 
YouTube channel, Claudia Granger, or Earth.talk with Claudia Granger, to once in a while find uh, some guided meditation. Or there are other wonderful people who do even better guided meditations, whatever moves you. But these guided meditations might connect you to a little bit more blissful state and get you out of the mental red race, also which we are sometimes have a hard time getting out of. Are there good things happening in 2022? Surely, all the time. As mentioned, neighborly love, helping each other is one of the greatest gifts we were experiencing in 2022. But also um, emotional development, psychic development will uplift our spirits because we are pushed into it. The universe will push us into these spiritual gift and awakenings and a spiritual awakenings per se. We will sense more, we will see more, we will have a natural more connection to our own guiding ones. All that would be heightened in our awareness and perception. With that expectation of heightened awareness, I send you into this year of 2022 and make it well for you. Many, many blessings.